surfer girl to YouTube live and it was live I tell you we were all very much alive So I, think. I tell you, man, YouTube Live, I mean, not much to talk about. you probably have seen stuff on it online. Quite, what an ex quite an experience. It's friends. It's friends. You know, it's friends. Like, it, it was the first time I felt like the YouTube community was my friends because it was really cool. Like, I was at the YouTube Live, and... It was so many people that I'd never seen before. There was like people I'd seen, like we met at the hotel, and we were all hanging out and all that. People I knew, people that I kind of didn't really know, that I was getting to know, and like I'd seen a few times with people that I, you know, talking to, like getting to know. Them. When we went to the uh, event, the, the whole thing, it was like a huge crowd of people that had just got their tickets online or stuff like that, were like there to see the show. And I was in the crowd with them. It was really cool. And then, um... And then, um... But what would happen is, like, after the show, I'd be, I'd be out. And if I saw a familiar face, it was like, oh, thank God, it's someone I know. Like, people I just met the day before people I'd seen like a little bit, I, all of a sudden I felt like I really knew them because it contrasted to the people I didn't know like at all. That I was had, This night was like this huge crowd of people. And uh, so that was really comforting. And then we all went back to the hotel and then we all hang out. Like, got food and went out and fucking walked around San Francisco and fucking chilled, dude. It was so cool. And I wrote some song, got some music down and played my guitar. The nice part is when people record it and I don't have to talk about it, because talk, uh, I don't really want, you know, if you could have been there, dude, that's the key, is be there for it. I'm um, talking about it's not bad, like reminiscing on it, but, like, what's happening right now, that's the important thing, you know, like, fucking napkins with my lyrics on them, literally, and it's just the only paper I had around, so... Or I had other paper. This is really accessible. Don't want to let you in on all my secrets, you know. Oh, Transporter Three was uh, one of the 
sponsors for this event. So there's a bunch of Transporter 3 material. I think they even had like a Transporter 3 ad in the middle of the concert. I was like, what is he? It was, more, it was like borderline concert, borderline variety show. Like they had this fucking paint gun that they fired. They exploded on this guy in this metal suit. And they, uh, they like blasted paint on the back wall. It was like a, it was like a, uh, a pneumatic or a hydraulic, however you, uh, uh, you know, look at it. Like it was a, a painting machine. So they're painting, like, pa they painted the Mona Lisa with it or something. And uh, they blasted this dude with it. And he was really cool. He was all ready for it. That was pretty cool. Um, so it was like variety. And then music. And Tay uh, Te did like a lot of announcing. And Lisa did announcing, and like uh, William and J uh, Mike, and then the, I don't, I didn't know the other girl, Kate, Kate something I think. Um, they had a DJ. That was really cool. He was spinning records up top, or like he had like a touch pad that was making all these different sounds. It was really neat. And Will I Am performed. There were a lot of performers, musical performers. Um, Akon wrapped it up. Dude fucking rocked. That guy is the real deal, Akon. I remember seeing him, some video of him talking and thinking, like, he really knew his shit. He's just a really put together guy, like, calm, like, confident. What else? It was, like, right on the wharf, too, right on the, on the, on the ocean, or on the water leading into the ocean, the bay. So I got to stand out there and, relaxed by the water a little bit. Like I was like, oh, I had the paper ticket, so I had to wait in line. Like all my friends had the these well not all my friends, but like a lot of people I knew had these like uh what do they call like a uh, glossy paper, you know, like uh, like if you got like magic or uh I don't know if you ever collected trading cards, but there was these old um Marvel the Marvel Universe cards were like this this slick plasticky coating on them lamination maybe laminated paper but it wasn't like plastic lamination it was just like a light coating and those were the tickets that were getting people like directly in but i had the paper ticket angel thank you very much by the way paul um so i was like oh, i gotta stand in line and i was like indignant about it for a minute i was like i don't like don't you and then i was like no dude i'm not gonna play a fucking game i'm not gonna be a fuck i'm not gonna fucking be you know be like so I was just like, yeah, dude, I'll go fucking stand in line and chill with these people that don't know who I am. That I was like really incognito, man. It was awesome. And I went back, and it was the fucking like it was right by the the ocean, right by the water, the line. Like I, I got to see, you know, I got to yeah, I had to stand in line, but I had an opportunity to stand by the water, dude, and hear the breeze and feel it, and it was a lot cooler there. I think it was like ten minutes in line. It was nothing. It was something. It was no problem at all. No trouble. So it's funny, you know, when life kind of turns you around and points you in a new direction and you're kind of resistant to it, just go along with it because you may see something really cool that you didn't, not that you didn't know it existed, but that you didn't expect it to exist right there, but it did. It's always in a new form.